Tuesday and happy Tuesday. Good morning, boys and girls. This morning, we have a special guest for our Get Smart Project. We have Naveen Rampertap with us. Say hi, Naveen. Hi. Okay, so Naveen, what do you have there? I just a wanna... gingerbread house. Ooh, a gingerbread house. Now, maybe you can move it a little bit closer so they can see it. And go ahead, you can bring it a little bit closer. All right, well, take a look at the detail on this. Now, I don't know if you noticed, going a little bit close. Ooh, so it's a real house. But uh, notice that there are some screws in there. So, Naveen, how did you make that? We used wood. You used wood. And do you, do you, uh, did you go to a class to learn how to do that? We just made it. Um, so where did you make it? A Home Depot. Oh, and were there other kids there making them too? Yeah. Okay. There was a there, there was about one hundred or more than one hundred. Wow. And what tools did you need? A screwdriver and a ha hammer. Okay, and show us the um things that you use the screwdriver for. The screwdrivers are are to screw these on the wood. Okay. And what about the hammer? The nails are for doing like little types of parts. Like oh, he has little, so he's gonna use a hammer to 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 put to put it in. Yeah. So you use a hammer for nails and you use a screwdriver for screws. Uh, screws have uh, the grooves on the side, and so when you turn the screwdriver, those grooves start to cut the wood and go in further. On a nail, the nail is smooth, so that's why you use the hammer. You can't screw a nail, but you'll see the end of the nail doesn't have any slots for the screw, whereas this, for the screwdriver, whereas this is where you put the screwdriver. Did you have fun doing this? Yeah. How long did it take? About, like, how long did I start in it? So, um, did you finish it there, or you finish it at home? There. Okay. And then when did you paint it? After I'm done building it. Okay. I love the colors that you chose. And so where are you going to put it at home? I'm going to put it outside or inside. Nice. Naveen, awesome job. Building is like being an engineer or a construction worker or both at the same time. You have to make sure that all of the parts fit. You use the tools correctly. And at the end, when you have... It comes out perfectly. Naveen, this is a great job. High five, man. Good work. And All right. also use screwdrivers and hammers or anything else at home to do work with my dad. Yeah. So now you can take what you learned there and do it at home, right? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Naveen. Thank you for sharing. Okay. So next up is our mystery number and wordle. Okay, so we knew that these were the same vowel, and it's the most common vowel, so that makes this an E. And this, therefore, is an E. And then these are one of the most common consonants, but not the most common consonant. So that was an S. Okay, listen carefully. All of these letters that I am circling in the Wordle are the most common consonant. Getting to our mystery number. It's two digits. We know that. They are both even and they are both homonyms. Mm. Now it's time for a mighty kind moment of the day. Let's get our drum roll. So our mighty kind moment of the day is a shout out to Declan, who uh, made a mighty kind, mighty mind symbol. Spent some time drawing some art from McVay to remind us how important it is to be kind. Well done, Declan. And so, of course, boys, every day is a great day to get smart and be kind to both each other and the earth. Let's have a wonderful day.